Glory to God. The title of this sermon is, We Do Recover. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, the enemy has tried to steal and rob us of a lot of things. How many of you know that to be true? Amen. Hallelujah. But one thing I know Hallelujah. about the God that we serve is that he is a God of restoration. Yes, he Amen. Yes, he He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can think, ask, or imagine. Yes, yes, yes. Our text today, hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Matter of fact, just, just you can be seated. Hallelujah. We're going to start here and then we're going to go there. And we're going to end up wherever the Lord wants us to land. As I said, the, the title of this sermon is We Do Recover. And I looked up the word recover. Uh -huh. It means the act, the process, the duration, or the instance of recovering. Mm. It also means to return to a normal condition. My God. It's stands for something being gained or restored in recovering. And finally, the act of obtaining usable substance from an unusable source. Come on, come on. That right there, that was the one that hit me. Usable substance from an unusable source. That would be me. Mm. I used to be an unusable source. Hallelujah. And God can bring about a point of recovery in your life that you go from being unusable to being a usable source. Amen. Yes. How many of you been in a place where you didn't think God could use you? Amen. I know I was. I didn't think God could use me. But the fact that we do recover and the fact that recovering means to make or obtain a usable substance from an unusable source. See, God is a God of restoration. And we are all recovering from something. Come on now. And God will restore you, renew you, and allow you to recover. I'm a living witness. And there is no state in your physical or spiritual process that God cannot heal and restore. What are you saying, Apostle? No matter how sick you get, Amen. He can bring you back. Yes, He can. And no matter how low you go, Come on now. He can bring you out. Yes, He can. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yeah, da 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 Someone is here today, or under the sound of my voice. That needs to know that the Lord can restore you. And it's my job operating in the realm of the prophetic to bring the word to you and to speak life to your dead places. Amen. 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 Somebody Amen. is in a dead situation. Somebody's in a dead relationship. Somebody's in a dead end job. And somebody is in a deadly, addictive, dead mindset. But Jesus is the great redeemer. And he is the restorer 
of what? Life. Yes, the scripture in the story that I'm about to bring to you is God talking to Ezekiel. Come on. Come on. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, and verse 1, the Bible says, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out into the spirit of the Lord. We were just talking about having out-of-body experiences in Sunday school this morning. I believe Ezekiel had an out-of-body experience. The word of the Lord came upon him and carried him out. And set him down in the midst of the valley. Which was full of bones. Hey! How many of you been down in the valley? Come on now. Woo. Down in the valley. Yes. My God. So things transpire in the valley. Come on now. God took Ezekiel to the valley. Hallelujah. And some things began to happen. But it happened in a process. Can you say process? Process. See, recovery is a process. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yay, God. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ezekiel had a spiritual encounter, mm -hmm. and the Lord allowed him to see that although the bones he was looking at looked dead, God was about to show him how to restore life to the old dead dry bones. Mama, mama, mama. It is the responsibility of the prophet to bring a word of edification that will lift you up out of the vat and restore you to life. Yes. We talking about. Somebody. Is in a dry place. Yes. You been in a dry place. Yes. Place where your mind is dried up. My God. Your, your, your imagination is dried up. On, your words is dried up. On, your attitude is dried up. Come your on. bank account is dried up. Everything is dry. Jesus, I don't know who this is for, but I'm here to tell you, God gonna bring you out yes, of that dry place. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it's a process. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Yes. God had to first pick a prophet. See, see, it was a process. First, God picked a prophet. Come on now. Then He gave the prophet a spiritual encounter. Well. See, you can prophesy, hallelujah, with a lot more conviction and power when you done had your own spiritual encounter with the Lord. Yes, 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 can. Hallelujah. hallelujah. See, I don't know about you, but I done had a few encounters with the Lord. Come on. Come on. The Lord that brought me out of some dry places. He has shown me some things and he has allowed me to recover from the dead places in my life and brought me back to life. I ain't going to get ahead of myself. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. It said the head the Bible says in Ezekiel 37, 1 and 7, the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. So I prophesied as I was commanded. Hallelujah. The Lord is restoring the spirit of prophecy in the land. Hallelujah. There is a prophetic movement Hallelujah. taking place in the body of Christ right now. 
Hallelujah. See, you go through some dry seasons. Seems like God ain't saying nothing. You listen, but you ain't heard a thing. Ain't nothing to talk about or prophesy about because you dry. Yeah. My, 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 now. But God. But God. Hmm, Jesus. So he prophesied as he was commanded. See, you don't just prophesy. You got to be commanded to prophesy. Sometimes a word of stir up in your belly and you're trying to hold it back. But when you've been commanded to prophesy, the word of God will just roll out. See, prophecy flows. That's why a lot of times when the, when the music is playing, because see, the Lord loved music because he gave us music. So when the music is flowing and the prophetic word will flow right along with the music because it bubbles out. You can't control it and hold it back. That's why music ministry is so important to the prophetic flow in the house. Because if you ain't got the right music, you ain't going to flow in the prophetic. Come on, say that. Hallelujah. 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 I'm trying to stay on track. Oh, Jesus. So I prophesied as I was commanded. Huh? Hey, glory. And there was a noise. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? And a behold, a shaking. Huh? And the bones huh? came together. Huh? Bone to bone. Huh? Thus said the Lord. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? See, sometimes huh, when you get a prophetic word, huh, it'll shake you up. Huh? Hallelujah. It'll stir you up. Huh? And your bones huh, might start rattling. That is if it's a word from the Lord. Because huh? see, a prophetic word huh, straight from the throne room huh, is going to confirm some things huh, in your spirit, man. Huh? And when you hear huh, the prophetic word, huh, you might get shook huh, enough to move huh, in obedience huh, to what thus said the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to preach. Hallelujah. And so when the prophet was obedient to the command of the Lord God, the first thing that happened was a noise. Hallelujah. We just said make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands. Hallelujah. Some people so quiet in their praise. They won't even make a noise. But I dare you to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because a noise, hallelujah, a sound can bombard heaven and change the atmosphere. When he began to prophesy to the dry bones, the first thing that happened was a noise. I declare it is the sound of restoration. It is the sound of transformation. There is a sound in the atmosphere when you begin to praise and worship the Lord that will bring about a transformation in your life uh, and will begin uh, the process uh, of restoration uh, in your life. Uh, so when you're in that dry place, uh, I dare you uh, to lift up your voice uh, and make a sound. Uh, begin to make a noise because uh, your praise uh, uh, confuse the enemy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know I'm preaching. <laughs> Hallelujah. The devil huh, don't like it huh, when the word go forth huh, with power huh, and authority. Huh. He thought just because huh, it was only a few folks huh, that I was going to hold back. Huh. But see, I was trained huh, by a man of God huh, that preached to 10 people huh, like it was 10,000. Huh, and that's how huh, he imparted in me huh, to bring forth the word. Uh, don't never shortchange uh, the people of God. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Get it, Abasha. 
I hear the sound. I hear the sound of life. I hear a sound. I hear a noise. I hear the sound of restoration. Lord, open their ears so that they can hear the 